Many of you are probably aware that my state, North Carolina, has received a great deal of ridicule on YouTube over the past few weeks, and there have been good reasons for it. And here is an excellent reason why. General Assembly of North Carolina, Session 2011, House Bill 819. But first, some background. In year 2001, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change released their Assessment Report 3. In that report, they noted what the most likely sea level rise would be due to human-caused climate change. They gave several scenarios, worst case and best case. In year 2007, Assessment Report 4 was released, and within that report, there was estimates with various scenarios for what sea level rise we can expect to see by the end of this century. The expected sea level rise is no more than half a meter. These figures were known to be conservative because the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change did not have enough data to know how much sea level rise could be due to the melting of the Greenland ice sheet and the Antarctic ice sheet. After Assessment Report 4 was published, we have seen some melting of the Greenland ice sheet and also some melting of the west end of Antarctica. This has given us more data that the IPCC did not have at the time that they published their assessment report. The current best estimate for worst case scenario is now twice what the IPCC Assessment Report 4 estimated. Direct observation shows that as the world's oceans warm, they expand. The more they warm, the faster they expand. This is what science tells us, and this is what direct measurements show us. Which brings us back to North Carolina. North Carolina wishes to make it illegal for any state agency, board, commission, institution, or other public entity, such as a university, to assess sea level rise unless authorized by the commission to do so. Part of the law also includes the following statement. Rates of sea level rise may be extrapolated linearly to estimate future rates of rise, but shall not include scenarios of accelerated rates of sea level rise. The problem with this is that every scientist on the planet expects sea level to rise exponentially as temperature rises. Or in other words, North Carolina is trying to make it against the law for any state agency to report accurately what the sea has already done and what it is currently doing, and what it will continue to do in the near future. Presumably, somebody in North Carolina government is going to print out the law, fling it into the ocean, and order the ocean to not flood North Carolina coast. Let's see how well that works.